What's happening, everybody? I am back to talk about more Mortal Kombat, and I I would have been talking about Mortal Kombat One, but some things just popped up for the movie. However, I do want to point out though, for one, we are getting the beta next week for Mortal Kombat One, which is June 23rd to the 26th. So check your emails on the 21st to see if you made the cut. But for today. I saw three major people appear on the cast list for the Mortal Kombat 2 movie. So, as it says here, Martin Ford will be playing the Emperor of Outworld himself, Shao Kahn. Afterwards, it says Desmond Ch Chime will play King Jared and Anna. I'm hoping I say it right. Tuin. I, I looked it up. Tuin will play Sindel. And Damon Harriman will play Quan Chi in the 2021 sequel for the Mortal Kombat movie. So already, right there, you have three major characters that are going to be set in the movie. And I'm because before, I, I originally when they did the first movie, they didn't even do the tournament. So I are we going to get the tournament in Outworld now? Because it feels like we will now get the tournament in Outworld where. We'll just we'll do the MK2 storyline, which I am curious at, because they already cast in Katana and Jade. I, I don't know their actors, but they, they they've already cast Katana and Jade. It does say right here that um oh yeah, but it does say right here a Adeline Rudolph as the assassin Katana and Taiti Gabrielle as Jade, along with Carl Urban will be playing Johnny Cage. I'm curious though. How, what will they do with Sindel though? Because are they will they actually just keep her around for that second turn? Because originally before Sindel's supposed to die when um, Shao Kahn conquers Adenia, because Shao Kahn invades, he takes Sindel and Katana as trophies, and then um, Sindel Haraki carries herself, uh, leaving. On, uh, in the arms of Shao Kahn. They do keep her around. I'm really hoping they don't do the bad Sindel like in 11, because I I know so many people are gonna be mad at that. This, that that made so many people annoyed at Sindel being evil. That is something they should not do for an approach. At least, or at least have Sindel just be um under Shao Kahn's control at least and then just break free once the tournament's over maybe hopefully maybe they could do something like that as long as they just don't make her evil again just please don't she though fun she that one I'm really nervous about especially because Quan Chi is on honestly one of my favorite villains in the series Quan Chi is my favorite villain just for because of his connection to Scorpion, just for him being the reason why Scorpion's life is messed up, Sub Zero's life is messed up, for just putting their clans at odds for each other for what they did. Now, it's going to be different because are they going to change the story so they actually fix it where Quan Chi was the one that killed Scorpion's family? Are they going to change that or are they just going to make him? another sorcerer that's just lurking around the background that will just be a setup for Shinnok later on. They did that for um, MK9 where while he was just in the background and helping Shao Kahn, he was just slowly helping Shinnok break free. So maybe they can at least attempt something like that. I just don't want them to mess him up any badly. Just don't. <laughs> Please. If they're going to be showcasing Shao Kahn, then, hmm, then I'm guessing they'll just be skipping the island. I don't think they'll be doing the MK1 tournament. They'll probably they'll de they'll definitely be doing the MK2 tournament in Outworld. So maybe they'll at least use the Coliseum because there's a lot of there's a lot of great stages in MK2 because you have the Coliseum. You have the armory, the flesh pits, or no, not the flesh, yeah, I guess the flesh pits, yeah, the flesh pits, the Deadpool, as well as, was it Shang Tsung's lair? No, it wasn't the Shang Tsung's la lair, it was the soul chamber, 
it was the soul chamber as well as i'd say shao khan's throne room which was added for mk9 so you, there's a lot of good locations if they're planning to like have this take place in our world i'm really hoping they have a bit more design for this next one because there's there were, were some good locations cause, yeah like i'd say i'd say the only good ones i liked were the pit that they did they did the pit well and they added um they did like an ice arena which apparently <laughs> which apparently was like normal after the fight was over i don't get it it, it, it looked like there were no water markings <laughs> at all at the end of the movie i do not get it now last point i do want to talk about is Liu kang because i'm really not sure how they're going to like adjust this character for this next one because i re i'm hoping he they really improve his character a lot more if he's going to be um the one defeating shao khan which is always how it's going to be <laughs> and if if they somehow make it so cool if they make it so cool young defeat shao khan i don't even know i that, if they actually do something like that 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 will just be the most out of nowhere moment i've ever seen in mortal kombat if they somehow make cole young the victor in all serious though Liu kang though I do want to see improvements with because with the first movie it felt like more like he was a guide for a lot of the other characters just helping them learn about their their abilities while he was just um mainly being there because like it felt like he was just more in a teacher role instead of like the main character role as well as he he didn't he didn't really do I'd say he only had like one fight he pretty much had one fight which was with um cabal and he fought sub-zero for a little bit but that was it he really only had t one or two fights and then was just with the same character in sub-zero which i feel like was insane to see that Liu kang was just losing to sub-zero i'm not even used to that because normally he's supposed to be better than sub-zero but <laughs> i guess they wanted to like set up sub-zero a bit more for the first one so i don't blame him but i need to see a bit more depth to his character as well as how he's like feeling at the moment because like he's now see he, he just lost kung lao so i at least want him to have some sort of guilt around that kind of like how he did in the first one where he was blaming him blaming himself for his brother's death in the first movie and that's what like drove him to like enter the tournament and fight Shang Tsung in revenge, but then realize that there's more important things, like say, saving his realm. I'm, I'm hoping they somehow transition at Liu Kang a lot more for the second movie, so they can really step up his character, especially with how he's his right now, because he's about to be bigger in MK1, I'll tell you that right now. Liu Kang is getting, getting a lot more spotlight um finally after all these years that's going to be it let me know what you all think about the cast list and what you're dying to see for this movie i really hoping they surpass how the first one did a lot and improve on a lot of the style a lot of the choreography and a lot of the music because there's i, I am, i'm excited to see a lot of these characters but i'm really hoping they improve a lot from what they did in, in 2021 i'm really hoping they put in the work for this one a lot more so i'll see y'all next time and